What's up everybody, D. Illa here. So the Giants took Deontay Banks, cornerback out of Maryland. I don't know how I feel about this pick. I mean, I realize we do need a corner, but I kind of feel like we just made that pick based on need. And that's how you get yourself in trouble in drafts. I mean, I think Deontay Banks is a good player, but is he a first round pick? I don't know, man. And based on this team's history when it comes to drafting first round cornerbacks, I'm not exactly you know, very thrilled about it. You think about guys like Prince of Mukamara, Eli Apple, Aaron Ross, who actually turned out to be a fairly good player, even though he's drafted late in the first round. I mean, honestly, over the past 20 years, our best cornerback that we've dra drafted was taken in the second round, and that was Corey Webster. I mean, you could argue between him and Aaron Ross. But, man, I don't know. I just feel like there were better players on the board, and, yes, I get all the wide receivers were off the board at that point, and there was really no available option. But, you know, I really like Dalton Kincaid. I thought Dalton Kincaid could really turn into something as an offensive weapon for whatever team he went to. I mean, you saw how fast the Buffalo Bills traded up to, to go get him because they knew Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Bengals were right there on their heels and they were probably going to take him if, they, if, if Buffalo didn't. So Buffalo gets that, that you know, big 6'3", six 6'4", foot six foot tight end to add to the already stacked offense that they have at this point in time. Um. Yeah, I just, I really think we missed the boat, man, on not drafting him. I just think it's something we're going to look back on, and a lot of people are going to look at, at Dalton Kincaid and be like, man, that's that's a guy that somebody should, should have taken a chance on maybe a little bit earlier in this draft. I think he could really be a good player in this league. I mean, you look at his playmaking ability after he catches the ball, and yes, he's not as fast as his wide receivers that were initially taken before him, but, I mean, he can do all the things that a wide receiver can do just in a bigger frame. But uh, Deontay Banks, I mean, it's it's your typical, you know, you're drafting for need and you're drafting based on who your coaches are. And, you know, we all know Wink Martindale may not be here after this year. He almost got a job. We didn't, I, we don't know if he almost got a job this past year. But, I mean, it's a it's a fairly, fairly good chance that he could possibly get a coaching job considering he's already applied for one twice in the past. And if he goes for one this year, especially if the Giants have some kind of success, you know, he could be right out the door and, and you know, no, we're no longer running wing system. So, I mean, this was a deep cornerback class. And I know there's going to be guys late in this draft that people that we look back on, you know, three to four years down the road. And we're sitting there staring at these guys that were taken in the third and fourth round that turned out to be pretty daggone good. So that's my whole issue with taking a corner this early, man. I just, I've never liked seeing the Giants take a corner this early, especially not in the first round. Not in the first round. And I know a lot of people are all hunky dory, all kumbaya about the pick right now and saying it's the right pick here on YouTube, especially when it comes to Giants creators. But something you got to think about, man, over the past 10 years, we've been in a bit of, bit of a slump. And a lot of people on here, especially content creators, have liked the picks that were made. And they turned out to be way off. So just because people are saying, oh, this is a great pick, this is the pick that should have been made, don't mean it was the right pick. Doesn't mean it was the right pick. Only time will tell. I mean, do I think Banks could turn out to be a good player for us? Yeah, I mean, he could. He's got all the all the physical attributes to, to, to be one. You know, he's got that 4-3 speed, but... Only time will tell, man. Only time will tell. But I don't know. I mean, we, we drafted Cordell Flott last year. We still have a Dory Jackson under contract. We could end up re-signing, you know, a Dory Jackson in the future. You know, I just I, I thought there was just better players there on the board, especially on the offensive side of the ball, that we could have added to this offense. Especially when you have a guy like 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 Darren Waller, who 